Hey guys, I am working on a t-shirt since my cam man is a senior this year. I wanted to work on like a keepsake shirt for our family to have for him to wear throughout the year um, while he graduates. So I'm creating this in silhouette. I did this yesterday. Um, it took me forever to find the font that I wanted, not because I just couldn't find it but because I am so critical of things and I just had to have it right so I just want to show you guys if you don't know how to do this I want to show you guys how to do it and I am in silhouette studio I have the designer edition I don't think that makes a difference but I'm going to show you really quickly how to insert the photos into the number and the way I do it I've seen it done so many different ways online but I'm going to show you my way and yes, I am on my phone, so um, the video may be a little shaky, so bear with me. Okay, so I'm going to be using this photo. I'm taking my baby girl out of here and don't mind the laundry. Anyway, this is just random photos I take of the kids when I'm sick and I'm in my room. So what I'm going to do first is use the knife tool. <clears throat> and by the way, if you want to know what the name of this font is, I put it here because I always forget the name of my fonts. It's actually Rot well extra bold is what i'm using and for the line thickness on my numbers i'm using one and a half line thickness so what i do is i make several other numbers because i do it differently than i've seen it done but anyway we're going to use the knife tool first we're going to take that and we're just going to go down and chop my baby girl out of the photo sorry i wasn't on it I'm using one hand so the the cut may be diagonal but it doesn't matter so I'm taking her out so what I normally do is see where I want it placed in the photo you can zoom in if you need to I don't really need to so I'm gonna just take this down oh not that much see where I want him placed probably here so I'm gonna right click send to back and as you can see now it's behind the number so I'm gonna just move him over stretch this out a little bit that's where I want it so what I can do now is cut this bottom half off kind of like in a diagonal because I'm not going to use that so I'm going to take the knife tool again and slice that off get rid of it because I'm not using it okay so you're gonna need to get both of them so now you have selected the photo and the number and so you're gonna go over here to the modify as you can see and you're going to crop it and that's what happened so this is why I create several numbers because I am going to add more photos to it. Now, I will show you how to do it if you just want to use one photo. See, and there you go. So now I have space for other photos. So this is why I make copies of the number or the letter that I'm using so that I have several more. And, and you do the same process. So when you add it, another photo, you're going to take this one out. But first, what I like to do is just kind of leave it there. So I have placement. So let's say I was going to put baby girl in there. I kind of just have placement. Send her to back. As you can see, I just use the other photo as, as like an outline. But then when I get ready to crop it, I will remove this photo and then crop it the way I showed you before and then just keep doing that until I get the photos that I need so I will show you how to do this with just one photo I'm going to use a different one okay so don't mind this look he had just woke up when I snapped this picture of him in the kitchen um so oh we were actually in the dining room he was standing by the kitchen anyway it doesn't matter send to back so as you can see the picture is extremely large so we're just going to size down 
until we get it how we want it and then we'll put it the whole picture in the two and you're going to do it the same way basically this may be a bad photo but this is just for tutorial purposes you'll get your photo how you want it so let's see if i move his face over here a little bit and crop it down some so we can get most of his body in there Okay, I will obviously be using a better photo, but I'm just going to show you how to do it with one picture as opposed to doing it the other way with several pictures like I plan on doing. And crop, just like we did before. You go to the modify panel and you crop it. And there we go. That's how you do it with just one photo. And you have your two, you see, and if you want to add the outline like I'm doing, like I say, you just make several copies of the number or the letter that you're using. And there you go. There's your two. So he's graduating in 2025, which is why I'm doing the the date, uh, I mean the year as opposed to his name. I will be making more keepsake t-shirts for the actual graduation or for like family that want to wear the shirt to support him throughout the year will be doing that so if you have any questions about this video or anything that i showed you in this video just let me know and i will try to get back with you as soon as possible thank you for watching make sure you give my video a like and i will see you next time